Hello, I'm Lexi. I'm in eighth grade, and I'm a, I'm from Wahoo. Go Wahoo! Go Wahoo! Go! This is my poem, Space Dog. Laika, the involuntary cosmonaut. That's what you became, and you didn't know till too late. You were given a home. There's warmth in the winter now, and you were grateful. No more garbage filling your stomach. Everything was deceptively perfect, till it wasn't. Seeing the stars must have been nice, the light twinkling in your eyes, feeling weightless in space, even though that's not how it happened. The air became toxic, flooding your senses. Your lungs closed off, none of it could enter, with your earth shaking, an ear-splitting blast off to the end. Paralyzing fear was the reason you shook, not the engine. Leaving you with a timer of seven hours, wishing it was just seconds. You were never meant to be there. Your story is one of cruelty, selfishness that blinded some, making them hurt others, now making tears in the eyes of people who know better. Your story should have never existed, not like that. It never should have been you coming home as ashes. You should have been happy. Living your hours in a warm home, not a flaming shuttle. You should have been able to live and bask in the sun, not be a space dog with no hopes of running in the grass again, not a, ex not a science experiment, but just a dog. You should have never been with the stars or known as one. Staying abandoned would have been better than left for dead, but you were found. And it's tragic to think about what ifs. If you had a family, they would miss you, but you didn't. You, ha you didn't have lost dog posters, and no little girl cried for a puppy to come home. You had strange people in white coats, poking and prodding, knowing you wouldn't come back. Do you know why they cried their goodbyes? Why they tried to make you feel loved in your last moments of gravity? Why you were trapped in that small space, senses dialed to 11. You must have been terrified. The freezing winters had to have been better than that. But soon you were burning like a flame. Now your footprints tread on Canis Major as stargazers look for you. And maybe you became friends with Sirius the dog star. Sorry. But that day you became something terrible. You should have never been a star. And now you're guiding lost dogs home forever watching them stay grounded in a way you couldn't, having everything you thought you would but didn't. All the rats and chimps made into stars because no one learned a thing from you. Comfort them, make them know they're okay now, that their mothers and families didn't want a goodbye. Please be the messenger for the little girl who cried for a puppy to come home.